I'm a New York street baller. You know, I played in Rucker. I played all over. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was coaching at Five Star Basketball Camp. We all Stefan, Tim Thomas, everybody was at the camp. All the big time plays was there. And I ran into this dude going to the basketball court from Baltimore. He was like, yo, come watch me play. I was like, New York niggas going to bust your ass. <laughs> and he was like, all right, come watch me play. We're going to see who's going to do what. I went to watch him play. After the game, I said, yo, you a bad motherfucker, and I'm coming to watch you play every motherfucking game. He said, yo, look, 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 look. I don't give it up to nobody. It's yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah. It's David Thompson. Yeah. Then it's Kevin Simpson and me. In my eyes, in, in terms of two guards, I ever seen get down like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's a bad motherfucker. And, yeah. and, and the thing about it, I drove all the way down from New York when he was in high school, his senior year, to play Rice High School to see him bust Felipe Lopez, who was the number one player in the country's ass. I, went, I drove all the way down from New York to hang out with him and then watch the game and hang out with him after the game in Baltimore. In the yeah. streets of Baltimore. Yeah. He's a bad look. look. You know when they say stuff like Stephen Smith say Aaron Rodgers a bad man? Yeah. That motherfucker's a bad man. <laughs> I don't give it up to nobody. And I trained Aaron Davis. And I trained a few players, CJ Watson from Las Vegas, Baron Davis from LA. And yeah. I've been telling them motherfuckers about him. He's a bad motherfucker, yo. Man, listen, it sounds like you've been around a lot of basketball. A lot of best. Kevin, Kevin the team was so good. Look, look, they played well together. Mm -hmm. They played so well together. The team that he had at five star. They they played well. <laughs> they played well together, man. And, and he just stuck out. He stuck out like a sore thumb, man. I started going to the Baltimore bunk after 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 his first game. I used to go to their bunk and just hang out because he was like, if you don't score. Over ten points, five buckets, a quarter at two quarters. You can't go to sleep first. You check everybody on their game. Check everybody. Check everybody. And Nuts showed out too. Nuts showed out. Nuts showed out that camp too. Hold up, hold up. So did you see the Nut and Stephon Marbury? Did... Nothing back down from nobody. Nut, nut was I good. Was See, day. when you got the machine behind you, you play different. Stefan got the machine behind him, man. He had golf, Tom, he had the machine behind him. When you got the machine behind you, you can't have a bad game. Like, even if you have a bad game, it ain't a bad game. You fucking dumb all the night before? You fucking dumb you all the night before? I, oh, Steph, I didn't know that. I up playing the lake at the end. Nothing, nothing. Remember I had a nigga go to court first. Yeah, I love Steph. Man, take, man. Like you said, Steph could have went out of high school. Yeah. Yo, he he could have so, went out of high school. He was so athletic, yo. Yeah, super. Right, super. Right. The thing with me with him was, Steph Yeah, you can go ahead. You can get it back. What about AI? Special. Special. I just thought I just thought AI you know, if if he would if he would have left a little bit more if he would have left, he was so good going, right? Mitch. Uh -huh. Mitch. Just, Mitch. Yo. He, he ain't playing no defense. He played them. Right. He played them out here. I'm the North. He just shoot out of them. Ask him something. He's going to tell you. That's the first time he wanted to play. You know, Tony, Tony, Tony was my teammate twice on Fastball. Okay. My sophomore year, my junior year, and my senior year. Mm -hmm. Tony was my teammate twice on Fastball. Okay. 
twice. They go and say, his father loved him to death. I love him. He said, oh, he didn't tell you. So, sure, I got to kill my team. He ain't going to go to the ground. That's when he got in trouble. Yeah. Right? I was supposed to get home like me. Okay. Years old back. He ain't the last one. Right. Okay. Mike Lloyd. His man. Talk to me about Mike. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, Mike was tough. I wasn't a big fan of Mike. Like, I'm not like, you know, like, he, to me he was tough. I don't, I don't think he knew when, when to pass the ball. Okay. He's more so like a two. He was more so like a two. Tough, tough okay. cat. Okay. Get to the rack. Good scorer. I just don't he think he, he he knew when to pass the ball to so me. Like Cam to me, Cam was the ultimate two guard who could do everything: play point, guard, shoot, drive, post, finish, post. Like when you got somebody that like even Kobe don't do all that. Yeah, Kobe don't. Kobe, Kobe can't pass the ball. Kobe do everything else that Mike, that that Cab could do, but he don't pass as good as Cab, and he don't play. To me, he wasn't a better defender than Cab. To me, Cab, when Cab wanted to lock down or get down to business, Cab could do anything he wanted I'm when staying, he wanted to. I'm saying my word. Nobody never gave it to him. You know, it's it's a pride you in know? that shit. Ah, yo, look, look. I appreciate. And everybody it. like yo, yo. Everybody say, everybody said Kobe had handles. Ain't no fucking way. Kobe Bryant's handles better than Kevin Simpson. Ain't no fucking way. No fucking way. <laughs> yeah.